Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to HIP.io again. Today's video is going to be how to install and configure Couch Potato. And if you don't know what Couch Potato is, it is a way to download movies automatically and easily um, as soon as they come out at the best quality that you choose. So without no further ado, let's get started. Okay, so first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open your favorite web browser and go to uh, https colon forward slash forward slash couch potato or potata dot to. Um, I'll drop that down in the description below, but you can obviously see it on my screen right now. Um, as you can see from looking right in front of you, um, this is available on multiple platforms, OS X, Windows, QNAP, Synology. So in this demonstration, I'm gonna be showing you how to set it up on Windows. All the installations are exactly the same when it comes down to configuration. Very simple. So I'm just going to click on the download Windows option here. And it's going to just download. I'm going to just choose save. And I'm going to get back to you in two seconds with it back on the install screen. Okay, here we are back at the install screen. And it's very simple. Just next. We're going to choose run couch potato startup. So it always runs once the computer boots. So just place the check mark here, hit next and then install. Very simple, not much thinking involved here. Okay. So the install has completed. As you can see, there's a check mark here beside launch couch potato right now. And we're just going to hit finish. Okay, so now the Couch Potato Wizard has launched. Um, it looks pretty basic right now, but once, but once we get into this, it's going to look the way it should. First, my favorite part about the Couch Potato setup is the wizard goes, takes you step by step through everything. Um, you're not really going to have to think about anything. You're just going to have to go straight down and go through. We will then tweak some stuff up, but for now, um, we'll just go through here. Pretty basic. So as you can see right here will be if you want to create a username and password for your couch or potato. Um, if this is not going to be on the outside, you may want to leave this blank just for convenience. If you want for security, you don't want no one to go in here and touch your movies. Um, just put in a username and password. Here is where we're going to choose uh, what download app we're using. I'm going to be selecting NZB get because I've already got a tutorial on that on how to um, set up NZB get and get everything synced up. So we're going to select that option and we'll just deselect the black hole. Obviously, you can see there are different options here. Um, if you want to choose transmission, this is a good one. Um, it's all personal preference. Since this setup is going to be assuming that we're going to be using Usenet for downloading, we're just going to leave it at NZB get. So we'll just put the, the little button here. And the local host will be the IP address of your NZB get box. Uh, on, for me, it's on this same box. So we'll just leave as local host 6789. And I believe the password we've used in our previous examples was 123 pass. And the category here is very important. We'll leave this exactly the way it is. Because if you remember in the NZB get video, it already comes pre-populated in there. So we don't have to touch anything and we've already set it to the proper directories. Okay, so we'll just scroll down a bit further. Uh, we're not using any torrents, so we'll just check those all off. But if you want to use torrents, obviously you could just go here and just put the, the check marks where you want it. Okay, so since um, this is the news group section that we're gonna be looking at, and once you find a news group indexer, you would just put a check mark here. You just put the host name in here and their API key. And that's it. Okay, so let's go a bit further down again. Okay, so move and rename movies after downloading. I would just put a check mark here. And you're going to tell it where it's going to look for movies. So you would have to remember the path that you selected in your NZB get directory. In our previous example, we showed that we were going to save the completed movies in C temp movies. Okay. Here you have the two line here. So this would be the folder that you want to have the movies move into once they're completed. So I'm just going to place it to the folder that I currently use, which is which is F movies. 
I'm going to leave it as the default folder naming convention here. So um, this would be the name of the movie and the year. So it would be like uh, um, Superman and then in brackets 2015. Uh, the add option here, if you want to put any other information here, uh, totally up to you. If you want to, for example, when it downloads, you want to know if it was a 720 movie, you may not remember or want to go through logs to see, um, it will automatically append the, the different quality. File naming, you could leave this exactly the same uh, or you could leave this exactly the same or you could just go in here and modify this as well. Uh, this is once again, all personal prof uh, preferences. Okay, so you may want to select UNRAR to extract the files. And then once it does the renaming and the copying and the moving of files, it will delete everything else in that directory. So you're going to want to put a check mark here in cleanup. Okay, so here, if you want to add movies automatically, um, this is by adding an extension for IMDb. Um, I will go further into the configuration and I'll actually show you how to set it up with Tracked, uh, which is very convenient because you can actually go to Tracked after you hook it up. You can add movies in there and once they come out, it will automatically populate your Couch Potato install. Okay, so let's go down to the very bottom and we're gonna say I'm ready to start the awesomeness. Okay, so there we are, we're all set up here. We're just gonna go down to this little gear on the bottom left hand corner and we're going to choose settings. So on the top right hand side, you'll see show advanced. We'll click on that. So if there's any other options, we'll be able to see them now. Uh, API key will come in handy if you're using 30 part, third party apps that connect to Couch Potato. For example, NZB360, a uh, great little app for your phone. Um, everything else I leave pretty much default. Searcher is what we've already selected at the bottom, but here at the top, you'll notice there's some more options. So let's say you reboot Couch Potato. We'll want to force the searcher to run. That comes in handy sometimes. Always search for movies before ETA. I wouldn't do this exactly for the reason that they're stating uh, enabling it. You'll probably get fakes, which is true. Uh, down here, you're going to want to set your first search to be Usenet, but if you are using both Usenet and Torrents, you'll leave that as the default. Select your retention period, and this would be by your provider. And obviously the minimum seeders here is um, for Torrents. So we'll just scroll down here, and this is the configuration that we have previously gone through. Categories. Okay, so here we have under global filters preferred. I've never really used this to be honest. Um, have no reason to use it. Uh, required is going to be particularly helpful for those that want to make sure that they're getting a certain type of sound. I'm picturing a lot of audio files are going to want this um, just because people are very specific. They want DTS only or AC3. Um, next is ignored. This you'll want to just leave the way it is. Um, that way you don't get any foreign movies with subs. Um, so obviously it will ignore it if it finds any of these things in the title. And you can obviously create your own category here. I've never had the need to do this. So I don't think anyone else will. But if, if you need that a category, here's the option. Okay, the qualities. Here is going to be the um, biggest portion because um, some people may not want to have files of certain size. They may want a certain quality of movie. So um, here's the default profiles are all created. Uh, you'll see best here. So it'll say, hey, look for a 720 movie. So, so let me rewind here. When you're adding a movie, it's going to give you different um, quality profiles and You'll see the ones here, the names, so HD, best, um, SD. If you were to select best, what, what it would do would be as it's searching for movies, it's going to look for a 720 movie. And then once it finds that, it's going to just finish it automatically. It's not going to even bother looking um, for a 1080p. But if it couldn't find the 720p, it would just go to the 1080p and so on. You could also invert these, so you could select uh, 1080p first and then 720, 720p second. Uh, that would be particularly your choice. 
that would be solely your choice. Um, it's however you want to make these. You could even just get rid of all these other ones if you wanted to. Um, so you wouldn't confuse it just by hitting this little uh, trash can here. I don't see the need to have uh, multiple profiles, but a lot of you out there may be very particular. So I'm just gonna delete HD. I'll delete all these other ones. I don't care about 3D. SD, I don't care about either. I thought I'd delete this 3D. I guess it was a different 3D, okay. So here's the best. So this is gonna be all that I want. I'll just scroll a bit further down and here is gonna be where I choose the different sizes of files. So let's say I want uh, 1080p movies. By going down here, you can say, hey, for 1080p movie, the maximum I want is, is only 10 gigs. 20 gigs is way too much for me. So you just change that value there to um, reflect 10 gigabytes. And you can even say, hey, a 1080p movie to me could start at two gigs. And once again, people are very particular in the way they want their files to come in. Some people like a certain size for their movies. Um, so once again, this is all personal preference. Okay, so downloaders we've already seen. So we can actually um, click on um, test NCB get here, which I haven't done already. And you'll see that my connection is successful. So we won't have to worry about this. This is all set up here. Renamer is what we saw before. Um, we won't have to go through here. Um, if you want to dabble in a bit more, you can. Metadata, we could just select here XBMC. This is, once again, if you like. Cody does get the metadata for you automatically, but if you want to have a pre-populator, just put the check mark here and it'll fill the information here. Okay, notifications. You can have it once the download begins and completes that it'll send a notification to whatever media server that you're using. As you can see, we have MB here. Um, so you'd have to put in its IP address and the port number that it's using along with API key. Cody is down here um, somewhere. Yeah, it's just over here. You would have to obviously enable the option in Cody to, uh, I believe it's ena enable HTTP and then you put the username and password in here as well. And here's the different options on Snatch. So once it finds the movie, it would give you a notification on your screen saying, hey, I've found um, Superman. Okay, then next we'll go down to the automation. And this is what I was talking about, adding track to your um, couch potato. So you could add stuff to your watch list and track and it would automatically import into Couch Potato, so you don't have to log into the Couch Potato console every single time you wanna add a movie. You just go into Tracked and just put it in there and it would sync everything up. You just hit the little button over here and then hit register your Track TV account here and it would sync it all up. And there's obviously different options in here, IMDB, iTunes. I don't ever dabble in any, any of that. I just use Tracked for everything. You could use all the other different options here, including IMDB but I think Tract is a big one that people use nowadays. Okay, next, display. This would be on your home screen here. It shows you all the different options so you could say what you want to appear here. So let's go back in and go into settings and display. And here are the different options, DVD rentals, so you could just take the check mark off there. Um, top movies in theaters, just put a check mark there. It's all up to you. If you want to use this, you can. If not, just turn it off completely. Okay, so next is going to be manage. And here you just point it to your existing library. So if you had your personal movies in C um, colon movies, uh, you could just point it, in, point it in here and you would see it list in your movies categories all over here. You would see it listed. So for the last part of our demo, uh, we're actually just going to add a movie and let's just click on home over here. And let's say you wanted, uh, let's say sleepless in Seattle, sleepless in Seattle. As you can see, it did a search and it found it right here. So we'll just click on it. 
And here is what I was talking about in terms of the different um, profiles that you can use. So these are all the default ones that are built in there. So I'm just gonna leave it on best, and then we're gonna hit add. And you see on the bottom right hand corner, what it's doing is searches, searching for sleepless in Seattle. And hopefully if I go into um, movies and then wanted, now you see that um, sleepless in Seattle is in here. And over here, it shows 1080, 720, BR rip, and DVD rip. And this is the best category or the best profile that I have selected. If it had actually found one of these, it'd be lit up here. So if it found like a 1080p movie, this may be highlighted like in a fluorescent blue, and then you know it'd be available. And then when it has opportunity to snatch the file, it will. Okay, and just before I forget, if you do need to reboot your, your Couch Potato servers, maybe you're having some issues, um, all you need to do is go down to here to this gear and you can choose restart. And you can also look at the logs if you choose to. Okay, so thanks for watching my video. If you like the video, be sure to press the like button. If you think someone else would wanna watch these videos, share it out. Please subscribe and press the little bell on the top right hand corner. So when I do post some new videos, you'll be notified right away. So once again, thanks and I'll see you on the next one.